Okay, so this is the finale to Korra Season 3. Um, and um, considering how good it was, uh, I provided you with a sheet of paper and a pen, so you can just write your apology right there. Eh. It was... Eh. Excuse me. Ah! Uh, that was actually pretty good. <laughs> I was good. Okay, good. Then get right <laughs> well, no, I wanted. I wanted no, but, every piece of this saliva stained paper. But wasn't that good? <laughs> no, it's okay. So here's the funny thing. As opposed I, to what? No, no. It, it's funny because so many things I did not see going in the certain direction, and I really liked it for that. But now that I know the direction it was going, I was saying, oh, they could have done, could have done a few other things to make it like even even stronger. But at the same time, it's no, it's a ton of emotions because like at the same time, like you know how I was talking about, well, it's not very big, it's not very huge. I thought it would be like you know this major major thing, and it doesn't get that way till the end. And bizarrely enough, they fly like Superman. No, how can you get any more big? No, than no, that? no, no, no. But in terms of which like, is kind of weird, I gotta admit. But. No, but in terms of like the characters' uh, uh, motivations and backstories and and who they are and stuff. But with the ending that they did, it all came down to literally like the last two minutes, really, in my opinion, because the ending is so kind of emotionally, ethically confusing. But I mean that in a good way. I it's actually the exact opposite of the season one ending. Yeah. This feels like an apology almost for the season one ending. Like, had season one ended like this, I still would probably say season one's been the strongest thing we've seen. Like, But but at the same time, I mean, honestly, okay, here's the thing. If at season one it ended this way, we'd be like, perfect. This is a, a perfect mm -hmm. way to end it. With this one, uh, we don't entirely know what she's going through or what they're setting up. That's... So, why we have a fourth season. No, 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 I know. But that's why it's hard to get, like, a grasp on it, because it's like, well, wait, what are they doing? Because maybe what they're setting up won't be very good. It's unlikely. I'm sure it'll be good. But, I mean, hell, like, this season, they're talking, you know, the, the spirit's coming in, the change will be hard, it'll be difficult, but we will go through it, and in this season, they almost never address it. <laughs> you know, so it's hard to say, Well, but... it seems clear, though, that this season's going to be connected to the next season. Yeah, it, it has Which was to. a nice surprise. I was going to say, yeah, this one, so maybe then they're going to wrap up the whole thing with the spirit world and this and that. And yeah, so that that's what I'm curious about. And yeah, it is nice. And like I said, just very, it's a very empty ending for the most part. I mean, not that nothing happened, but at the same time, I mean, just you, you look on her face and she just looks like something was really taken from her and you're not entirely sure what. Well, there's, well, there's a couple things. One, she can't walk. No, but I mean, all this Which stuff said her... she's gonna heal. Like, she's gonna heal and get better. It just takes time. It, it really looks like something more was gonna take him from her well, that maybe they have We're explained. not talking about a very patient person. Yeah. And we're talking about somebody who's lost the ability to walk. My guess is she's lost some of her ability to effectively bend particularly well or avatar but that's but they haven't officially said that that's what so they haven't said but I, that's what the poison was supposed to help do well that that's why i'm curious about what it's because they say no she, she'll get better she'll get better and it's like they're just looking the at other, like something's the other something's thing is, up the other thing is one of the things that i was thinking of when i was watching it is she's watching um Genora become the next sort of airbender <laughs> the next egg she looks just like yeah now <laughs> become literally kind of the next Aang, and if you're the Avatar there and you've been sitting here for seasons where everything rests on you and now you're completely crippled and it's just like everybody tells you, it's okay, we've got this, we're all right. I'd be sitting in that chair feeling kind of useless in the moment. <laughs> like, I mean, maybe I... It, it, well, that's the thing. There's she a, may be happy that life is going on for everyone else, but she also may be like, well, maybe this is it. Maybe my work here is done. Like, You know, what, what I like about this ending, again, but a lot of it sort of depends what they're going to do with it, there's a lot of options, which I like. Yeah. Um, well, not only options, but consequences! Freaking consequences yeah. at last! Um, and, you know, shit happens, and it's not all wrapped up in a neat little bow. Like, oh... Well, and what Finally. I like, what I like too is that you know I was talking about these villains and how I was saying like you know it's like the the guy the main guy kind of Karami but the rest of them were just sort of like it, it kind of you know just they look cool and they do cool things but there's not much character to them again by the end of this it 
it felt right because there is such this empty feeling at the end where it's like, yeah, these guys want to do something major, but they're just, they're these four, they're powerful, but it's just sort of like almost a for nothing thing. Like all this stuff happened, all this chaos, and it's kind of for It's nothing. like the emptiness you get at the end of The Dark Knight. After yeah. After everything the Joker puts no, you no, through. And yeah. you realize he's just a force of just chaos. There's like no real even meaning to it. Yeah. When it's uh -oh. all said and done, it's just like, Wow, so four assholes, you know, it's I get the same feeling when I watch something like Wrath of Khan. It's like, all right, so one asshole caused all this yeah. damage. Thanks a lot. You know, <laughs> the, you nailed it. It's not this really complex, fascinating, I mean, there is complexity to the main guy, but because he is just so monotone and so, you know, and I will leave the spirit world, even when, like, his girlfriend dies, he's like, you know, oh, no. Well, I can fly now. Um, well, you know, but no, but no, but no, but, I, but it worked. Yeah. No, it, it did work. Yeah, and I mean, because I think you're right. It's just an asshole. It's just yeah. four assholes, well, and it feels it's like stuff can yeah. happen just from assholes, and it can feel so. It feels even more empty. And history's it. history's full of that. Like, yeah, John sure. Wilkes Booth, Lee Harvey Oswald. Yeah, well, not, maybe not, that was more than one, but we won't <laughs> get into that. But. <laughs> You know, now, like, everything the in the forums is going to be like conspiracy theories now, thanks yeah. for that. <laughs> but I mean, you know, all of these assassins, uh, the guy who killed Franz Ferdinand started World War One. like, entire wars and millions of people dead because of one asshole. Yeah, no, no, like, the, the keyword is just asshole. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, it's not like these really complicated, like I said, the main guy is kind of complicated, same way maybe the Joker is or something, but it's like... It's still primarily like what they it's set just up. It's nihilism, basically. Yeah, just... I mean, it, it's just some assholes. Yeah. And, but it's, like I said, if you told me at the beginning of the season your villains are just going to be some assholes, they're, they're cool assholes, but they're just assholes, I'd be like, what the hell, Avatar and Korra, they had all these great villains, but it's like, uh, no, th this seemed to work, and, and, and it came together. Um, Again, it felt like almost a retread of season one. Like, to me, they're almost kind of like Amon, whereas Amon was concerned with bending all together as a social justice issue. These guys are just concerned with the Avatar and just rulers in general, but it's that same theme. The, I don't think I got that from the, the second season. Uh, I was gonna say, season, yeah, this whole season It seems... almost feels like a rewrite of season one, like, in some, in some small way, like... Yeah, no, this whole season feels very much like, and we could be wrong, you know, but it sounds very much like they really listened to the fans and said, okay, let's try to really, you know, we know we got two seasons now, let's do what we can with them, let's well, listen let's, to what people let's are saying. let's be fair to these guys, it's not just listening to the fans, it's they have the ability. They didn't know they were coming back. I mean, if they left it on a weird, ambiguous note on season one, and Nickelodeon's like, we're done, no more seasons. Can you imagine the outcome? Like, like Duck Man. Yeah, the same people were just like, oh, wrapped up too easily, would be looking at it, it's like, well, what a downer ending, guys. <laughs> like, you know, so you never know. So they had the opportunity now to stretch this out. They and got give the an tools, ending they got the tact. <laughs> it's Milita. Exactly. Um... But, uh, no, the things I was talking about that they could have possibly tweaked, uh... One is that, you know, the flying I didn't mind, honestly, uh, especially because it came after the death of his girlfriend. Still less damage than a man of steel. <laughs> <laughs> no, but but here here's my th a couple of things. One is that you know I let go of all uh, all attachments oh, to the world. Oh, are, okay, are you gonna? Okay, are you thinking he's the still same thing? His plan done. Thank you. I thought the same thing. It's I've let go of all worldly desires. I'm like, but isn't wanting to kill the world's leaders to bring about your social revolution? A worldly desire? Nah, I can take it or leave it. Um, some, I, yeah, I, 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 when I saw that, I was like scratching my head because I was watching it with my wife and I just turned to her and I was like, wait a second, wouldn't that be? And she's like, yeah. The, the only rationale, and it's a weak one, but the only rationale I can think is like, he can, in the mindset, he can give it up. Like literally not care. I, the rationale, and, you know, and I, the back, rationale but... I've seen is that it was a reference to his girlfriend who just got killed. Yeah. So now he's got nothing left holding him back. I, I guess it works. I still think that's kind of weird though to be like I've given up all worldly desires as I desire to do this major. Yeah. Yeah. It was. It was very weird. But no, very I would have. I would have had the relationship between the two of them. A little stronger. Uh, I was seeing more. That's the only thing I was missing was. But good. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Well, I was saying the only thing I was missing was they they play it up so much. It's like, oh, when you rescue me, and, oh, I love you, and I'm like, when did we see that? I kind of really would have loved a flashback episode where it kind of like shows. Yeah. 
Um, so that was, but I, I felt it. It was great voice acting. Yeah. It was great writing. I just kind of was like, oh, well, they obviously had this really cool relationship. I wish I could have seen more of it. Like, good God, we thought the Earth Queen death was, I mean, pretty oh. intense. Oh my God. I mean, just like, it was just a few frames, but you're just like, <laughs> <laughs> Lives yeah. in a pineapple under the sea. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, people have been making those. You've been seeing uh, them. My favorite is when Cora's like, I'm you proud. know, chained up and like her eyes are bulging and she's, you know, dying and stuff. You just see SpongeBob going, ah! <laughs> Yeah, I love the ones with SpongeBob pointing and laughing. Coming up next. Ah! <laughs> um, but uh, well, I, actually, I'll, I'll tell you too, this really dumb idiot moment for me. I'm watching that scene. Again, very intense scene where I mean, she's chained up, platinumed up, and, um, you know... She went platinum. <laughs> and, and they're giving her the poison. And as soon as his face broke and we saw Amon's face for a second, I went, holy I shit! I know! I thought the same thing! I no, no, like, no, no, yeah. that can't be. <laughs> yeah, for about maybe two or three seconds, I was like, oh my god, greatest twist ever! I'm like, oh, okay, okay. I'm like, maybe that, it probably wouldn't have made sense Anyway, no, it wouldn't have made any sense. <laughs> it wouldn't have made any sense, but for a second I was like, ooh. <laughs> yeah, because I okay, really just too. went, okay. what the? Oh, yeah, I, I had the same reaction. I was like, oh. <laughs> Um, I, but I think that's the point where it sort of hit me, too, when you saw the villains of the past, like even kind of the weaker one, like the one from the second season. Well, actually, so. I will say this. When I saw the villains from the past, it, A, it hit home how much I'm actually invested now, like, I thought that was a really cool scene, but it did make me realize this is all thematically tied. They're all political villains. Mm. Um, well, I... Yeah, I'd say for the most part. <laughs> well, okay, I, the giant like, evil what, spirit yeah. of death is just kind of big spiritual evil the kite of death, of, but... <laughs> the kite of doom, maybe yeah. not as much political, but I guess it's connected to the other ones. But yeah, I was thinking of Amon... Um, I was thinking of her uncle, and then Zahir. There is this weird element to this one, like, now that we've gotten past a number of the spiritual elements. Well, if you think of the Kite of Doom as the original spiritual element, and he's influencing the other three, then we've gone from spiritual, which is what the first Avatar was about, now to Korra, where it seems to be a lot of politics. Mm -hmm. So... But, yeah, yeah I, something about when I saw them all sort of lined up and they turned the other villains, I thought these villains, I sort of said, yeah, this strangely kind of works because they are different. You know, it's not Tarlock 2.0, you know, it is like an actual, like, different villain kind of villain, like I said, because they're just assholes. Um, but, yeah, the other thing I wanted to point out, too, I really thought, because, again, everyone, of course, on my Facebook before I see it, you know, just see the finale, oh, tears and feels and stuff. I swore somebody was going to, like, one of the main characters was going to get axed off. And I'm, and they were building up, like, they're going, the sisters are like, you know, just be careful, and then the father's, like, falling I, and stuff like that. I that really, was I, the brilliance of killing I'm the really, Earth Queen. Yeah, I'm like, really glad they sure. didn't. I'm glad they didn't, they didn't need to go that route. Uh, killing off a main character is fine, but there has to be a purpose to it, and they did not need to, and I'm glad they didn't. Um, it wouldn't have been, I can't think who they would have killed off where I'm like, that would have been necessary to finish you, this. You, you had her think the father was dead, and that's one of the reasons she was especially nuts going after uh, the bad guy there. A great fight. Um, oh, that was one of the best fights. Yeah, the fights I, just get better and better every season. Okay. Like, it's, it's, I'm sorry, I love Avatar, but, like, it's making that fight at the end of, uh, season three in Avatar just almost look embarrassing now. Like, it's just getting... Oh, no, that, that fight's still awesome to me. Oh, uh, no, 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 it's awesome. It's really awesome, but when I look at what they're doing now, like, just the way the CGI has improved over the past, you know, number of years, like, because I... It, it, to me, it's like, you know, comparing, like, you know, a modern show with something like Babylon 5, which back in the day, it's like, oh, CGI, awesome, and now we're just like, oh. Like, <laughs> well, I, I, I still think it looks really good, and it has the, the weight, too, obviously. Uh, but, no, it's that kind of fighting was in practically, like, every episode. Okay, and that, the one thing, when I got to it here, I finally just said, will you fucking stop it, is when, okay, Team Avatar comes, 
there's the other bad guys, you know, uh, uh, Mako and Lola, and they're like, you know, you go ahead, we got them. I'm like, okay, I am so fucking sick of, we got them. And then they're gonna fight, and they're gonna be okay. And it's like, or won't get captured, and they'll separate, whatever. It's like, I am so sick of, this is, we got this. this. I've seen that fight in every episode that I'm done. And they're cool, but I am done Just with like them. that scene in Small Soldiers comprised entirely of the cliches. Yeah, it's like, th they're cool. You can't they're go well out there. I have to. It's too dangerous. No, it's like, they're cool. You have cool. to trust they're, me. They're well animated. They're well done, but it's like, dude, why couldn't we spend that time knowing the couple, knowing the bad guy and his girlfriend? Why couldn't we build something more there? It's like there's. It depends on the fight. Uh, this one, though, I thought was really cool. Oh, no, like, no, the it's whole good. Chase but by the, the time we got there, I was just like, I'm so sick of just these guys always going at it and doing their cool moves and stuff. It's just like. Just, Show, do something but different. Love up it. ending. No, and that was a good twist. Having, cause we all thought, okay, he's gonna do the metal bending at some point. And it was lava bending. That's they great. Us out. Yeah, that was a good fake out. And but it was also satisfactory. Like you know, well, we're not gonna go this direction. We'll go this direction instead. And it was just as good. Yeah. So um, yeah. No, I'm really. I'm really intrigued. And like I said, now that we got to the end, and we don't quite know where they're going. I would argue some of the the season depends on where they're gonna go with it, but I, I would say like I now kind of see what they were going for, uh, and it, it does work out, and so the slow pace uh, was all right. But there's still, I guess we gotta wait for season four. But I mean, like, why the fuck do we have Zuko and that dragon? <laughs> I mean, what the hell was the point of that? You just answered your own question. Why the fuck wouldn't you have Zuko and that dragon? I'd have him to fucking do something. <laughs> you know, and, and all this stuff is sort of built up and nothing really happens with it. So on the one hand, I'm like, well, that's a letdown. But on the other hand, it's like, it's this big to be continued and they're building up something. And it's like, I, the I, I don't know. going to be the great arbiter the judge yeah well that's what i'm saying so it's so i can't i mean i unlike the other two seasons i can't be like oh well this sucked because there's loose ends they didn't tie up well it's like we don't know well, yeah. yeah i have no idea what's coming next season um so yeah i'm more psyched for this season than for i think probably anything since the show started but yeah you know and isn't it fascinating how the other two seasons you know again had cora you know Kaki, Cora, you know, I think she has everything, but then getting kind of lost and not knowing. Then by the end of each season, she finds her way and stuff. Here it's the exact opposite. She's everybody found their way but her. Actually, yeah, you know, she was actually very confident and uh, very good at this stuff, and uh, and she gets through it. And then at the end, she kind of lost her way, and we don't know where it's going. She doesn't know where it's going, and it's like that's so much more fascinating. And I will say this, too, because we were talking that, about... It's what we should have had originally, like, yeah, but um, it, well, they got I, stuck. I'll, I'll say, too, this is just a weird tie-in back to uh, uh, Avatar, because everyone's always like, you know, oh, Aang is, is so much better and stuff like that. But again, I really like how they emphasize, like, she has the moves. Like, she has the technique down, because that's something I always said in Avatar. Like, every time they're captured and chained up and stuff, I'm like, he's not... An avatar it should be a million ways out of this and stuff. And sure enough, like when she's all platinum above it, everything. I mean, she's doing flips and kicks. Oh and yeah, no, I like it when she's chained up and like bending with her feet, like fuck you. And yeah, no, no, and the <laughs> fucking fire I'm like, yeah, that's her the feet. way. It I mean, be, it's yeah. like she, I, I like they really emphasize it's like she's got the skill. You know, it, it's the emotional balance that she well, has she to was, work on. Where I always the got the around. impression that she was stronger, but she was not mentally as. Yeah, well, that's why I like that. Was very, it was very switch around. And she can go in and out of the Avatar state like nothing, um, you know, very easily. So I really like that they there is that switch around. Um, and like, it, it, so what do, you, what do you think? Are they going to just rewrite season one and have the next part be her spiritual journey becoming whole again? Even though that's kind of what we did in five minutes at the end of season one. But are they just going to kind of retcon this and be like, well, yeah, we'll, we'll you know, do it again I, better? I can't predict what they're going to do, which I like. Uh, I, I'd like to predict what they're not going to do, hopefully. If they do a Dark Knight Rises where it's like, you know, oh yeah, well, she's just sort of, uh, uh, you know, crippled at the beginning and whatever, but then after a few, whatever, gets a robo leg and then, you know, goes back, I'm back, I'm fine, and all the emotional damage she went through is like, no, 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 it's not that, I I'm cool. Um, that, no, it's cool. Really I had somebody out. like string me up by a rope and fix my back. Yeah, just was, to get broken again and yeah. brought back again, like yeah. li literally broken and brought back. Um, you know, when you put it like that, you make the Dark Knight Rises sound ridiculous. <laughs> it sounds like stupid, right? Weird. Um, 
I should lay off that, but I can't! Damn it! Scars still hurt! <laughs> you've, you've got Dark Knight Rises, I've got Man of Steel. Yeah, we, we both have our Nolan fuck yous. <laughs> um, but it, I, I would like to see everything that was set up in Season 2 with the, the Spirits really come back big time in the fourth season. Because honestly, if... Because they're building up, like, the Earth Kingdom, the, the city, is in ruin. I mean, it's like, this was not like, oh, and we'll have people clean it up, whatever. It's like, it, it's, what the hell are we going to do? Like, this is a big problem. Even though it ended sort of on this confused, you know, almost quiet ending, there's a lot of bad shit going on right now. And I hope they tie that in also with the spirits coming into the world. Uh, I, I want everything that was just built up, particularly Maybe for... the spirits can be the new UN. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I, I, I want everything that was built up from, particularly the second season, because the first season, like, like you the said, the first season I consider a total, yeah, the yeah. first season to me is a total write-off. Like, I like everything the second season. It was season, good, but it it's just doesn't have anything really to do with the rest of this anymore. So. Yeah, I like everything from the second season and the third season uh, that we've discovered and that has been opened up to come to a head in the fourth season. In which case, does that make seasons two, three, and four the real trilogy here? And you just forget about season one. It's hard to say because then we always say the or second one. Or do you consider one season so one? No, is season first. one then like the Phantom Menace? Is that like no? The it's, the it's the Hobbit. It's the Hobbit. No, but then there should be you know like five more seasons, <laughs> <laughs> much much longer. <laughs> no, we'll just go back, redo the first one, and just make like every minute twenty. Um, but special edition in this one, Amon shoots first. <laughs> <laughs> but no, that's what I would like to see because then uh, a lot of stuff that had a, a lot of problems I'd be. I was talking about the second third season would be like, oh wow, this like really came together. And I, even though it probably wouldn't have been planned, I would actually sort of be like, maybe it was planned. Maybe it was sort of all tied together. Because that is the one really big letdown so far is that, like I said, the emphasis that the change of the spirit world colliding with the human world is going to be really hard. And it, we get the airbending, fine, but that, that should really be more of a side thing. The spirits, I mean, these are totally different life forms interacting with totally different life forms, and that's just sort of pushed to the side. If, and it's more toys you can sell. <laughs> exactly. So if, if all of that sort of comes back in the fourth season, like all these things they say comes back, I'll be like, okay, now I kind of see it. Because they're saying things are, have gotten worse without well, her, so it's like, let's see what that I will say is this, and how to fix it. I do feel like... Seasons two and three, though, connect more together. So I'm willing to bet most of this was planned from season two on. I feel like I hope, there I hope may be a making it up a bit as it goes, but I feel like there is more of a solid plan here than going from, say, season one to season two, two which yeah. just has no connection. Like, Except when they repeat everything the court did. Yeah, <laughs> and like, the crime uh, like it's literally stuff, like but... they just rebooted the story there. So I... I'm hopeful. Like I, no, I, I love to see what they can do, and I think knowing this will, I think they're pretty solid. The fourth one will be the last one, um, you know. And I think they seem to know when they know their beginning and end, you know, like where this is gonna end. Because I, I heard that in the commentary, they said they like a show knowing when it's gonna end, you know, when when the seasons are gonna end. And Avatar, they knew it was gonna be three, so they they had that figured out. Um, and I think now knowing these whatever, these next two seasons, they, they have them back-to-back, -back, and obviously it's a big continue. Uh, I'm hoping they can really put something uh, good together. Um, I think they can. I yeah. have faith. Unlike you, who should still be writing that apology. So I think if you're apology, now. Mm -hmm. you!